Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Super Mario Odyssey playthrough. Last time we finished up our journey at the Metro Kingdom. We got a lot of moons, but I think we're going to move on from here and uh, take a look at the next kingdom. Uh, once again, we have two kingdoms we can choose. We have the Snow Kingdom and the Seaside Kingdom. I'm actually going to be going for the Snow Kingdom first because... Uh, I think this one is acknowledged as a smaller kingdom, and since we just did a huge one, I think it makes sense to do a small one, so we're going to go to the Snow Kingdom next. So yeah, let's do it. And much like uh, between the Lake Kingdom and the uh, uh, Wooded Kingdom, like you'll have to go to both. There's just a very, very minor game differences based on which ones you go to first. Nothing really super substantial, it just kind of... It, it's mainly like the paintings, like some of the paintings will go to different places. But that's really about it, honestly. It's nothing too out there. What an amazing energetic festival. Let's keep that energy going as we keep up the chase. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some skills, like how to wall jump, which I taught you the time last time. And uh, let's check out the Snow Kingdom. Burr, it looks so cold, and it sounds like the races in town are quite popular. And the prize is a frost frosted cake? Oh boy, trying to get some cake. Shiveria. That makes me cold just thinking about it. <laughs> the Cake Thief's Parting Gift. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and be real. There's not really a whole lot we can do on this, uh, first area. Because I think you need to kind of get things moving in the main quest before you can really do much, um, in the, uh, overworld, I guess. So, uh, this video is probably gonna be pretty linear. Um, or at least my progression here is gonna be pretty linear. Um, you can also find, I believe, uh, little twisters here and there, which can carry you back up if you need to. Also, uh, be careful of the water. Um, the water is cold, and if you stay in the water for too long, you'll actually uh, lose damage, or you'll lose health. So, keep that in mind. Oh, well, that's literally just a shortcut to the Odyssey, so... Don't think we're going to do that. But yeah, we want this uh, storm to go away before we do much here because we can't really see too well um, of what's going on. We should get out of the water. Get out of the water, Mario. You'll freeze to death. You'll turn to a Mario popsicle. Which Bowser probably would not have a problem with that, but... Yeah, okay, so it looks like there's something going on down there. They're hiding. They're hiding something. I wasn't ready to jump down here, but uh, might as well. Again, like I said, there's not really a whole lot we can do because of the nature of this. But yeah, say hello to the uh, Shivarians. They're cute ball guys. Also, Hentart. So, yep, once again, I'll go ahead and take a picture of this. That was in the uh, Lost Kingdom. I think right here we got a moon. The entrance to Shiveria. And oh, there's the shop. I'm not going to go there yet because we don't really have a lot of regional coins right now, but we'll definitely take a look at that later. Break the boxes. Let's see, I missed the race course. Oh no, it looks like Bowser prevented us from going down there. That Bowser monster stole our racing prize, the Frost Frosted Cake. As if that weren't bad enough, he blocked the entrance to our race course. 
We need power moons to get it back. Okay, so... Yeah, Bowser. He's causing mischief again. That's what he does. Wish he wouldn't, but... If he didn't, I guess there wouldn't really be a much of a video game here now, would there? It's just Bowser. He just wants to have a little bit of cake. Can't blame him too much, honestly. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, we have these four bonus areas we have to go into, and um, I think each of these bonus areas, in addition to having, like, obviously the purple coins and stuff, I think there'll be, once again, uh, two power moons in each of these. And we also do get a new capture, we have these uh, wind guys. I'm gonna ignore this one for reasons, but... But yeah. These one guys are kind of cool. Um, I believe we don't want to knock this down yet, though. We definitely do not. Um, I hope I can do this properly. I believe we want to do this because power moon atop a blustery arch see normally I think you could like knock that down or something so that's why I didn't want to do that come on how'd I miss you we were right there but one thing that's kind of cool about these guys is we can actually take them for a bit of a journey so we're going to collect some of these coins that are out in the middle of nowhere. Also going to get rid of these spinies. I guess getting rid of the spinies is what prompts that reward. So let's grab these. Don't think there's anything else. I think we're good to go. Oh, shoot. I don't, I don't know how I... I guess I my control stick must have flicked in the other direction. So yeah, we're just going to be clearing each of these uh, small mini areas. Oh no, there's more. So let's uh, go in the pipe. Let's take on the next challenge, shall we? The snowy Mountain. I do remember this one had some, like, kind of really hard to find, like, coins. Maybe even, like, the Power Moon was kind of hard, too. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, you really have to get rid of all the snow if you want to find all the different uh, different things. Don't worry, you won't ever have to like clear out all the snow or anything like that. You only have to clear out like enough to get through and enough to like you know find like any other hidden things that might be hiding in the snow, I guess. Let's see, like, right there, if you can't tell. Oh, oh god. <laughs> that that could have been bad. There we go. Behind Snowy Mountain. here. I feel like there might be more to this, though. <laughs> we got the frost-frosted cake. 
The boss man sure is fussy about cake. Reckon we got him the best one, though. Okay, so we have the rematch against Rango. We have, we have, uh... Um, fought all the Brutals by this point, so... Play this carefully. Because I did not want to die. That pipe looks fake. I know it's not, but like, <laughs> for a second it kind of looked like it could have been like a cardboard pipe or something. So that'll open up another one of the Bowser doors. And before I do anything else, let me just look here. Seeing like any other hidden things down there. So we might be good to go. Yep, I think we're good to go. Okay, two areas down. Let's take out area number three. Ooh, Goombas. Also, falling icicles. Yo, Goomba Stack. The Goomba Stack is back. Dodging Goomba Stack, yeah. I guess the challenge is you are walking on ice here. I guess that is something. But even then, like, it doesn't seem like I'm, like, really... Like, slipping around. Like, it doesn't seem like Goomba has, like, the ice physics. Which, hey, I'm not complaining about that. to drop down. I guess theoretically we could also just jump down there. We could have also done that. But... I feel like that's a jump that Mario could have made with his long jump glide, not glide, dive. Okay. Maybe you can change the camera right here. 
Seems like something that game probably shouldn't allow you to do, but you do, so. Oh well. Okay, one more barrier. I think this one's has like the underground enemy guys. Yeah, I think that is exactly what this is. So yeah, that's basically how those guys work. So they basically pop out of the ground, they act as like a stepping stone, but they do try to bite you, so you do have to be a little careful about that. And they also kind of chase you around, too. treasure chest. Don't mind if I do. So one thing we can do right here, I think anyway, I think we can look around. Okay, maybe that's not the best perspective, but how about here? That looks nice. Can't really see anything where I want to look, but I think we're good. Ouch. Oh. Well, you know what? That's good, because I didn't realize there was a... I didn't get either of these, so... I kind of had to come back down anyway. Okay. That was not bad that I fell and missed that jump, because I would have just wasted time anyway. Mario, stop jumping around like a weirdo. <laughs> Ice wall barrier. So with that, the barrier is completely gone. Now we can go to the Bound Bowl Grand Prix. That sounds like fun. Now, I know that I've been spending only one episode in these shorter kingdoms, but I might spend two episodes here because, you know, because there's a lot you have to kind of do for this first one. It just kind of makes a little more sense, I guess, to get this kind of out of the way first. Um, let me just look around a little bit. I think we can just jump straight down. So, let's, uh, can I get up there? I feel like there is a way to get up to the... Oh, yeah, the pole. You cannot enter unless you are properly dressed for extreme cold weather, like with fluffy hood and warm boots. Mustache man, you don't look dressed for snow. You must be confused. Now... <laughs> I think it's kind of a, I think there's kind of a joke here, but uh, I think you're actually supposed to be naked for this one. Like you have to have like the underwear costume for that one, I think. Like we can we can try to get like fluffy snow boots or whatever and try it, but I'm pretty sure. supposed to be a joke or meme or something. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this. Shining in the snow in town.
Shivarian treasure chest. Okay, I think we're good. Let's jump down the hole. Whee! So now we're in the lower part of Shivaria. The snow lines circuits. Um, is this anything? Nope. I do see this cat Mario though. He one cool cat, I guess. Okay, I think that just takes you back up. So it looks like we need one more racer before the bound bowl can begin here. One racer won't come out of the waiting room. What's taking so long? Uh-oh. Is someone nervous for the big race? I think so. Sometimes it's hard to calm your nerves, especially for something like a race. I mean, naturally you want to do well, so I, I, I can understand that. Okay, so we're going to go through here, get these coins. I think those coins were the coins I was trying to think of that are like that were like um, hidden versus the uh, that other area. I don't think you get anything for cleaning up all that snow, but just wanted to check. I see you. Race, I don't want to. The other racers are too serious. I don't stand a chance. If someone else wanted to race, they'd be welcome to take my place. Oh, that doesn't take a genius. Give me your body. <laughs> so yeah, here's the uh, the bounder. This is kind of a fun transformation. Y you only use it in this kingdom, obviously, but still, it's just kind of silly. But hey, si silly is always good. Oh my god, look how much I'm bouncing. <laughs> okay. Finally, now we can start the race. Our frost frosted cake was stolen, so the prize will be a multi moon. Are you ready to race now? Yes. It's been a while since we had a race, so we'll start with some training. So, yeah, it's pretty much just racing with this form. But it can be really fun using this to move through. It's just like kind of fun, like seeing like what corners you can hit and how you can like get really cool bounces and stuff. Maybe I'll go ahead and quit training here. So, Snowline Circuit Class A. Hey, how come that guy gets to start in front? <laughs> You can also shake the uh, controller as well to do this, but I don't think it's really even necessary. The movement of this thing is just so good. Yeah, I try to hit like the lower end of the hill with my bounds because I feel like that gives you the biggest kickback. See if I, I, I might lap somebody. Ah, eh, not quite close though. Hmm. New record. 
<laughs> I just saw a guy launch like right over me at the end there. What a race. You were like a supersonic snowman. Your prize is a multi-moon. Yay, multi-moon. It's bound on up here. <laughs> and there we go. That's uh, I believe that's all the main missions for uh, Snow Kingdom. So the kingdom kind of opens up a little bit. And I believe that on the overworld it's no longer like um, a snowstorm. So as a result, you have a kind of uh, better exploration here now. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, like I said, next video we'll, uh, we'll explore the rest of this place, or at least as much as we can of the... Uh, main part of the overworld but uh yeah this was fun uh this has been slim kirby thank you guys for watching i know it's cold out here but uh next time we'll collect some more moons see you guys then later folks